Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today with an article from July 17th from Red State, and it is entitled, On Brand, MSNBC Journal who questioned Don Jr. about kids in cages is at the center of defamation suit. So this is my chance to, one, crap all over MSNBC, which I love to do because they're just a bunch of propagandist liars, and two, also bring up to you guys like, hey, did you see uh, this interaction between Don Jr.? and the MSNBC journalist uh, at the uh, RNC this week. Um, so if you haven't, I'm pretty sure it's embedded in this particular article. If not, I would recommend it's only like 30 seconds long. And he basically tells the guy to just F right off at the end. He doesn't say those exact words, but it's great because the guy tries to uh, bring up a lie about something that didn't actually happen and then say like, oh, no, like, you know, that's not true. And it's like, dude, we, yeah, it is. But anyway, I'm, I'm, just going off on my own thing. So let's go ahead and, is that a, oh, I thought that said Pence for a minute on the microphone. I was going to be like, what? Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the article. It says, on the opening night of the Republican National Convention, one of the most notable events was unplanned. Donald Trump Jr. agreed to an interview with MSNBC from the convention floor, and in the course of the brief interlude, the network's approach was made crystal clear. Yeah, they're not going to ask him anything honest. They're going to have loaded questions, and if you listen to the guy's questions, they were obviously loaded, and we'll see what they were here, because I'm sure there is some uh, uh, you know, copy of what was actually reviewed, <laughs> or at least what was said to Don Jr. on here, so you'll be able to see it. You're just going to be like, oh, wow, you guys don't have any bias at all, do you? Not at all. Um... What else was I going to say here? Yeah, it says it says he agreed to an interview with MSNBC. It was more like the dude just kind of came up to him when he was standing there and it was just like just started asking him a question. So it wasn't like a sit down interview or anything. So just wanted to make that clear. So it says Don Jr. was first asked about the divisiveness his father allegedly creates. That was an actual question. And it's like, are you like you're trying to get a particular answer out of him as opposed to just like. What, what about the things your father says? He just says, what about the divisiveness your father creates? And you're like, uh, like you, you trying to show your bias a little bit? So it says, uh, it was a severely stunted approach following the assassination attempt. Then he was challenged about whether Donald Trump would recommit to separating immigrant children from their parents. There should be a period at the end of that sentence, of course. This Don Jr. brought up how this caging practice had begun during the Obama administration, rightfully mocking the correspondent and dismissing the network. And this was the proper response based just on the questioning. But looking further into things, we see how com completely delusional all this becomes. And that's correct, that all this stuff started under the Obama administration. That was what I was talking about at the very beginning, was that this dude brought up something that... Uh, he was about to get proven wrong about, and then Don Jr. smacks him for it, and this dude came back with, like, no uh sort of response. This is the reporter confronting Don Jr. was MSNBC's immigration correspondent, which I didn't know until this moment was a thing, but okay. His name is Jacob Soberoff. This means for him to suggest that Barack Obama had not engaged in the activity, of which he was critical, was either journalistic incompetence or weak deception. Given that Soberoff announced, I covered the family separation separation crisis closely, and that he has written a book on the matter, which I didn't know about either, I am leaning toward the latter. This is how any journalist, let alone one cloaking himself as an immigration expert, can deny the involvement of Obama, which is underlined there in that article linked, so go ahead and check it out because he was obviously involved, and in the caging of immigrants is borderline hilarious. And then this is the part that I love that uh, the dude came back with. It says, you know they didn't do that, sir, Soberoff claimed to Don Jr., says amazing and well here's a picture of the kids in cages and it doesn't have any caption here but that was actually during obama and i love that during the whole trump thing they're saying there were kids in cages and it's like guys obama did that but that wasn't a trump thing that was an obama thing <laughs> and everybody knows that except for msnbc apparently so it says on the tuesday on tuesday the intrepid correspondent next attempted to generate controversy when making an appearance on rachel maddow's broadcast which is always a good thing talking to her basically Lenny Riefenstahl here. So Soberoff reported from the area where the South Carolina delegation was situated, noting the poor view of events from that vantage. Soberoff speculated the state was being punished, possibly due to a conflict with Nikki Haley. So it just, I mean, these are all like, this is what MSNBC is. It's the conspiracy theory network. And it turns out MSNBC wasn't actually there. Um, they had multiple independent journalists. I think Jonathan Cho was one of them. Um, was normally based out of Seattle. He was running around trying to be like, I can't find them anywhere. It turns out they weren't actually there. They were using like an LED screen. So there's that too. 
And so it says, this is sheer desperation, but it is also on brand for this reporting tandem. As we've recently learned, MSNBC is facing a defamation lawsuit. <laughs> I just There should just be an insert of a laugh playing here. It says, it's stemming from reports made in part by Jacob Soberoff and featured on multiple shows. <laughs> Whoops. In a, in a fashion similar to the massive defamation suit currently being faced at CNN, and I did a video on that. Go check that out or click on that link to the article right there. It says, few in the press appear intent on focusing on these changes of journalistic or charges of journalistic impropriety. It says, the charges concern reports on several MSNBC broadcasts detailing a Georgia obstetrician who had been accused of performing serial sterilizations on female immigrants. Rooted in the testimony of a lone whistleblower, the reports, made by Soberoff with reporters Julia Ainsley and Danielle Silva, accused this doctor of working within a Georgia immigration facility and treating detainees and, in, pro in the process, performing unneeded hysterectomies. He was dubbed the uterus collector because apparently we, don't have, we can't be creative with names anymore. This doctor was alleged to have performed the procedures on numerous victims. His court documents have revealed a process not unlike that of the CNN case, where many people inside the network, including the show host, express concerns over the validity of the reports, and the whistleblower has since admitted she replied or relied, I can read, upon hearsay, and there may be no more than two confirmed procedures performed by the doctor, with those being done out of necessity. And it says that the judge ruled that Rachel Maddow, Nicole Wallace, the typhoid Mary of misinformation, go check out that Rumble video, and Chris Hayes made verifiably false statements about the doctor who was suing NBC for $30 million. In her ruling last month, the judge, Lisa Godby Wood of the Southern District of Georgia, found that Maddow, Hayes, and Wallace made 39 verifiably false allegations against Mahendra Amin, a gynecologist who treated detainees at a Georgia Immigration and Customs Enforcement facility. So obviously the doctor must be the bad guy, right? Because he worked for ICE, but whatever. It says, in one of the communications obtained in the discovery process, Soboroff stated he spoke with an immigration attorney who expressed concerns about the veracity of the whistleblower. At another point, Ainsley wrote to Soberoff about her surprise to learn the doctor had only performed two hysterectomies over nearly two years, which I would say that equates to not really doing very many, but there you go. So despite all these doubts, the network ran with a series of reports and interviews with the whistleblower on the shows of Rachel Maddow, Chris Hayes, and Nicole Wallace. Says so these broadcasts inspired a congressional investigation into the matter, a probe that turned up no evidence of the accused activity. The subcommittee did not substantiate the allegations of mass hysterectomies on ICDC detainees was the conclusion of the Senate report. So they lied, which, hey, it's MSNBC. Why do they have any credibility? Don't know. So it's displaying a rather cavalier approach to journalism. Jacob Silveroff appears to be perfectly suited for the slanted network that is MSNBC, and his performance at the Republican convention is hardly a surprise. So, yeah, so this dude is part of a lawsuit. He also lied right there. They don't actually have the Don Jr., a video embedded in this article. Um, I'm just trying to see where it was again. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. But go find it. It's not actually uh, linked here at all either. Go find it. You'll you'll. It's again. It's only like 30 seconds, and it's pretty enjoyable because just the way Don Jr. slaps the dude down. So check it out. Um, also, of course, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Let me know um, if you, <laughs> how if you feel about MSNBC the same way I do. Like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.